welcome back to make some more so in today's video i'm going to be showing you how to do a color change on a 48 pin centro knitting machine um you can do this with uh, beanies or ear warmers whatever you're making it's super simple to do you can change those colors as many times as you like but i will show you all um how to change colors again y'all it's super super simple so let's get into this tutorial so i have my machine ready to go it is a little dusty i haven't used it in a little while um and for today i'm going to be using big twist yarn and this is what it looks like it is a full weight yarn which is a medium weight yarn and this is dark denim and then the other big twist yarn which i've used before the color is camel i think these two colors look really nice together so i'm going to go ahead and start off by casting onto my machine if you don't know how to do that uh, you can go scroll back a few videos i show you how to it's super simple So we're back and ready, and I will show you all like I usually do. I'll put the yarn right here at the very top, the tightest tension you can get. That's my preference. That's where I like to be at. In my opinion, it um, holds the yarn a lot better. And now I'm just going to go for a couple of rows, a couple of rounds, and uh, I'll come back and show you how to switch colors. We're coming back up on let me make sure the camera's focused we're coming back up on the 48th pin and that's where you're going to want to slow down and slowly turn it right there make sure your 48th pin is on the right side of where the yarn feeds through and you're going to cut yourself a yarn tail Take it off like that. And you're just going to take this yarn and throw it in the middle. And if you can see, and here I'm going to zoom in so you can see exactly what I'm doing. The yarn is still underneath that 48th pin. <clears throat> and what you're going to do, super simple, you're going to take your new yarn, put it in the center of your machine, and you're going to loop it under that 48th pin. And you want to make sure it pulls it down. And then feed it through. Take it out. Put it down your heart spot. Put it into the tension guide here. Okay. And then slowly turn it and make sure it catches. Sometimes you have to kind of help it catch. And see, make sure the yarn is actually all the way in there, um, in here as well. Because if it's not, it won't catch it. Make sure it's catching it, which it looks like it is. And go around real slow, just watch it. Make sure it's, the pins are grabbing all the yarn here. Hopefully I can see it. There you go. <coughs> And you see where the two, <coughs> excuse me, I'm sorry. You see where the two yarn tails are here? You can simply just tie a knot in it. No big deal. This is gonna be um, hidden. You won't see it, so it'll be on the inside. And you just tie a knot in it like that. And continue to go around. If you're doing a two-tone or two-colored ear warmer, toboggan, beanie, whatever you're doing. This one's probably going to be ear warmer. But if you're doing a beanie or ear warmer and you want it to have like multiple colors or stripes, you just do the same thing. Make sure, you know, your 48th pin is on the right side of your um, machine here where the yarn runs through 
cut off the original color with the yarn tail, feed in the new color, and just make sure that each pin is grabbing it. It's super simple, y'all. It's um, it looks more. I think it would. It sounds more complicated than it is, but it's really simple. Just to change colors, if you want to, I will do it one more time. Um, I'm gonna do a few rounds of this denim color, and then I'll come back and I will change the color one more time to show you all. And hopefully, it helps. You can do this. You can change colors as many times as you want to to make stripes and um whatever project you're working in, or just two colors and make a two tone. So I'm gonna do a few rounds and I'll come back. Okay, so we're coming back up on our 48 pin. And real slow. And there it is right there. Right here on the right side of the machine. Take your scissors. Cut you a little yarn tail. Take it out of the tension. Take it out of here. And just throw it down in the middle like that. Grab your other color that you want. Put it in the middle of the machine like this. Kind of like your cast it on again. And then you're going to take your yarn and loop it through. Run it through here. It's getting tangled up with the other yarn tips. Here we go. Put it on the tension. Everything's ran through, it looks good to me. And I'm just going to watch it and make sure that each pin is grabbing the color and it looks like it is. And I'm just going to go back over here and tie a knot. Just so it eases my mind that it doesn't come undone. <laughs> but it shouldn't come undone. And again, this will be on the inside so you won't see it. And it looks like everything is catching again like it should. And it did not catch on this pin right here, so I'm going to go back here. Just, uh, okay, for some reason it's not catching on my right pin. There we go. Sometimes these machines, y'all, are very... Uh, finicky. You see, for some reason, it's not wanting to catch on that 48 pin. I'm not sure why. Yeah. So, I'm not sure completely why it's not wanting to catch. I think that's it right there. Okay, so I think that the knot that I tied was, um, kept catching on these little ears that are right here on the pins. So I'm gonna go through and make sure that, that was the problem. So in case y'all are into that problem. Yeah, okay, so that was the issue. Just make sure you pull your, um, if you tie a knot, make sure you just pull it down so it doesn't catch on the machine on these little ears here. That was the issue. And now it's working as it should, no? <laughs> It's making me look crazy. So, I'm not sure exactly what happened there. Again, these machines are constantly. Sometimes they do good, sometimes they don't. That's just the part of owning the machine, I guess. It's going to be a pain, though. Like I told you I will show you all the real footage here of me making stuff so <laughs> this is it. Let's grab it again. Seems to be grabbing it again. Hello. I'm going to go ahead and cast it off here. Just and I 
and again, if you want to learn how to cast off, uh, go watch, scroll back a few videos and you'll see it. It's super simple to do. I'm going to show you the end result here, what this looks like. Let me grab a sewing needle and I'll show you the end result. This is like a baby size toddler, well, baby size air warmer. <laughs> um, here's the color change. Really nice, really pretty uniform. The side, the part that I messed up is right here. So there is an ugly spot. Honestly, that's just, if I would have caught it sooner, that wouldn't have happened. Um, but you could just take, simply take your um, sewing needle. Sorry, y'all. I just, I don't feel the best today. <laughs> But you can take your sewing needle and just simply sew that up and it won't look that bad at all. But since this is just an example for y'all of how to color change, I'm not too worried about it. But this is what it looks like. Super cute. You can do this for any project, any ear warmer, toboggan, beanie, whatever you're making, pumpkin. It doesn't matter. Simply just change the colors. And I told y'all, you just see none of the knots. They're all on the inside. So I hope this video was helpful. If it was, please leave me a thumbs up. If you have any more tutorials that you would like to see, just drop down in the comment section below or um, you can message me and I'll try my best to do a tutorial for y'all. <laughs> but this was suggested by a few of um, the people who follow me. So yeah. I hope this was helpful. Thank you all for watching. Thank you all for the new subscribers. I greatly appreciate you all. Again, sorry I haven't been super active on here. I just have not felt the best for the past week. And um, <laughs> yeah, it's kind of hard. And I've been in a crafting funk, so there's that too. But anyways, have a great weekend, everyone. And if you have any more suggestions, again, just let me know. Mm -hmm.